Oh. Okay. Nah, that's not Miss Barrow. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. That's not Miss Barrow. That's definitely not Miss Barrow. Oh. Okay. That's not Miss Barrow. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The truth shall set you free. I hope y'all really share this video. You really need to share this video. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel. I am Ty Smith. You're watching my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. I appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to view my content. Make sure you're following me on all the platforms you see above and the ones below. And clicking this like button right here is how this content can be, how this content can consistently be recommended to you. And it pushes it out there in the YouTube algorithm world. And also double check and make sure that you still are subscribed to the channel. No, ladies and gentlemen, I am not editing this at all because you see my excitement about wanting to get into this story. I did a story a while back, and then Candace Owens, my sister, you know, my sister Candace Owens, you know, me being her brother, you know, being a plant from the Republican Party, you know, because Candace Owens is my sister, and, you know, my sister invited me to come onto her show and do a talk with her and all that because, you know, me and her are just siblings. We're brother and sisters and, you know, all that stuff that y'all try to make up. Anyway, my sister has taken a deep dive down this rabbit hole of Kamala Harris opening her mouth saying that she's black and it messed things up. And then it got even better when President Trump went and visited and did the little black symposium and they asked him about Kamala Harris. He didn't bring it up. They brought it up and Kamala Harris got blasted because Trump said he didn't know she was black. He said all the time that he'd been knowing her even before then on a personal level, he said he always known her as being Indian or Asian. He said, but all of a sudden she's black. He said, not that it matters. Because it don't matter. But she's the one that's making it a issue. She's the one that's bringing it up and trying to relate by being black. She changed up her accent. It depends on where she go. One minute she up here being black. You better thank a union member for your job. You better thank a union member. You better thank a union member. Then next thing you know, she's, oh, she's Spanish. Oh, I love you back. It's the racing spared me. Then the next minute, she's trying to act like she definitely got the Jamaican that's flowing through her. Oh, have you no sympathy, man? Have you no sympathy? Huh? Be a boy, a killer. Don't do it in the corner. Huh? Well, I've been saying like I know what I'm say. Now, ask her what I just said. Yeah. Anyway, all these different things that she has been doing, and a lot of us know, and that's why they give her the nickname Chameleon, because she's faking all this. And now, because she the one to open up her mouth trying to claim she black, she sent a lot of us real blood Negroes down that road. I got a whole lot of family over there too trying to figure some things out. I should have gave some of that information to my sister, Candace Owens, since I got family there. A lot of them. Now, check this out. They got somebody that knows this family personally. Judge Joe Brown talked about how the dad, Kamala Harris' father, is Irish and Hindi. Hindu, whatever. And the person that was pictured in this picture in Kamala Harris's book as being her grandma, boy, 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 y'all, wait till you see this. Check it out. Mm -hmm. Um, and Miss Barrow, by the way, mm -hmm. I see Vice President Harris on mm -hmm. the box. Mm -hmm. and I sit up straight and I think, mm -hmm. my God, mm -hmm. she looks so much like Miss Beryl. Her facial features, the only mm -hmm. thing is Miss Beryl was much smaller mm -hmm. um in statue mm -hmm. but well okay if yeah. miss beryl because camilla is very fair skinned right was beryl fair skinned yes she was she was she was she was fair skinned she was mm -hmm. okay yes she was very fair skinned oh with black hair really yes oh okay. so she was so fair skinned mm -hmm. that now that i'm older mm -hmm. and i can spot People mm. by their skin coloring, etc. For me, I would say there was something Irish there. How interesting. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mm. would say um, somewhere along the line, she mm. would have had ancestors that were Irish. Mm -hmm. Yes. Actually, can I, can I show you a photograph? Of course. Of an old lady. Yes. And 
Some people speculate yeah. that this is Miss Marion. Right. So, oh, sorry, bear That's with me. That's okay. I am so <laughs> untechnological. Okay. It's just pathetic. Yeah. There we go. Um. Okay. Nah. That's not Miss Beryl. That's not Miss Beryl. <laughs> That's definitely not Miss Beryl. Oh. Okay. That's not Miss Beryl. So. And, and that means you have to just show. Yeah. So. <laughs> that is not Miss Beryl. That's not, not Miss Beryl. Definitely not Miss Beryl. Okay. And I, I, I know what she looks like. I couldn't have been in a dream, and she hmm. definitely did not look like that. There's another person, but could that be Miss Berry? No, that's not that's Miss Berry. That's not Barry Miss Berry either. Miss Berry either. Okay. I don't know who that is. Okay. <laughs> that's not Miss Beryl. That ain't Miss Bear. You know, as you were describing the fair skin and looking like Kamala, I was thinking this can't be the Miss Barrel grandma that's in Kamala's book. And clearly you see Lady C's going, wait, fair skin? What did maybe is this nope, that's not Miss Barrel. <laughs> I didn't dream. That's not Miss Barrel. Yeah, that sounds about right. You're saying Irish, and that's funny because Judge Joe Brown had a very distinct memory that Donald Harris told him that he was Irish and Hindu. And things are starting to add up, not in Kamala Harris's favor. And I don't know what to say here, ladies and gentlemen, other than I am truly, untypically speechless. This is the reason why, if you're watching this, we need to have her back on this because this is going to be nothing more than a wide open, complete, complete exposure of the lies and watch what some of y'all try to do well it don't mean that she ain't well just no 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 you lied well i mean trump watch y'all i know y'all gonna try to throw trump in there somehow trump once claimed that he black he wants no 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 we're not talking about trump we're not talking about look over here or look what they did or why y'all always we're talking about the fact that she said this to your faces her mom she said out of her mouth her mom knew that she was gonna raise her as a black woman as a black child Kamala Harris like only was in the United States until like the what the the eight ninth I'm mean, not even that I think like the I, she was on, she was only there for like the sixth grade she was twelve when she moved to Canada and she stayed there until she went back to college to Howard wherever she I don't know where she went I don't even care the point is she was out of the United States she pretty much went to Canada in school I don't know if it's Mon wherever she went Montreal she was there practically all of her childhood life from zero to maybe 11 years old. She was in California, whatever like that. After that, they moved to Canada and there they remained until she went off to college. She never lived in Oakland. Like she claimed she did. She lied to people in Detroit. acting like when I came from Oakland and went, no, you did not. See, the thing is, again, it should be an insult to you because they think that we are stupid, that we are not going to go and research and look this stuff up. And you darn sure messed up when you got Candace involved in this. Because she gonna, Candace is one of the greatest journalists out there. My sister is one of the greatest journalists out there doing some crazy work. Her and people like James O'Keefe, them, Louder Crowder, they are doing some stuff out there. So now what y'all gonna say about this? And I'm just telling you right now, I, right, boy, this busted some stuff open right here. And the more she kicks out, Candace, I got your back, sis, the more I'm gonna be on this and looking into it too. So now what y'all got to say about Janet Jackson? When Janet Jackson said, I heard that they were Irish. Look at Janet Jackson. Look, look, look. And look what we find out here. What y'all going to say to that woman that knows exactly who Bear was? Yeah. Can't wait to get more into this. Keep it up, sis. Y'all, let me know what y'all think by putting it in the comments below after this video. And don't forget, the next video I'm going to do in chronological order will be up here. Things that I do as a mashup, mix up, right on this channel will be down there. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys in great help mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.